Hello, this is Dittertracks83, and this is my first episode of This Gun Is Shit, a series where I'm where viewers like you vote in the comments for weapons you think are shitty that you want me to use in combat arms one-man army that I need to win with. So, the first weapon I'm going to be using today is the Mac 10 And uh, let's take a look at the stats on this piece of shit. Rate of fire is 90, which is great. Damage is 33, which is complete shit. Portability is 85, not too good. Accuracy is 60, which is just barf-tastic. And recoil is so is 85, which is enough to sm have the gun fly back and hit you in the face. Alright, so let's get right into the gameplay right here. And I started off in uh, Vertigo. with And the perks I was using are Resourceful, um, Spectre, and uh, Pitcher, I believe. And, uh, or the abilities for combat arms. So, right here at the beginning, I just start off running around, and I have my first epic fail from uh, Johnny Rockma over here, who just decided to uh, take me down with the Galil. Uh, so, I come back up here and try again, and kill one. And so far, things are looking pretty dandy. But, uh, yeah. And, you know, the thing, I won this free-for-all, and it took me forever because it was just the three of us. Just me, Jack Cobras, and Johnny Rockma. But, it, when I used the gun, it actually wasn't really that crappy. But, when you're using it against pretty much any other SMG, besides its rate of fire, there's not much to it that's really worth it at all. Which is why I decided to choose this as my first weapon. Because... I mean, but I also tried to decide to do it because Wicked Shrapnel in his series, this gun, this gun fucking sucks, did the Mac 11, and Combat Arms has the Mac 10, which is the damn closest thing to it. So I figured, why not? And I believe I'm up to I think four kills now. Don't really remember. And I decided to get in some corner camping. Because that always works. And I thought, well, if a grenade ain't gonna work. And he's trying to take me out, I think, with the uh, 74U. And then we had the guy with the, uh, the thumper. And uh, I was doing really bad here now. I think I had a big death streak before anything. Yeah, before anything started up. And uh, yeah, that was that was the thing. I didn't really have a lot to narrate about. And um, uh, thing is, there's not really anything. And I was doing this gun with actually with uh, no attachments, no. Uh, magazine attachments, no scope attachments or anything, because putting a scope on this thing is completely worthless because the recoil is so bad that uh, when you put a scope on it, you're, you'll, you'll, you'll just lose sight of your target instantly. And I personally think that just sucks balls. And this went on for like 15 minutes almost. Um... Because it takes it take it took a while to get thirty kills for some reason. I don't I don't know why. It's be, probably because I suck. Which you know what I will I'll admit it. You know what I'll admit it. I suck at combat arms, but you know. Well, we all sucked at one point. And uh, yeah, and Johnny is just he's just raping face over here. And. I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm still in first place though, because they keep typing to me to chat. And I just keep taking advantage of that and I just for type kill. No, I'm up to seven kills now, alright. And the thing is the gun really doesn't need any attachments. I thought besides the fucking recoil that if you got up close to someone it was just a raping face gun. But, 
when you get on beyond like say 30 feet the gun changes into complete shit which is why I gave it the gun rating of uh, being kinda poopy because it, it it sucks but it in some ways it's it, it might actually be good to use but no one really uses it besides like me so it's not like the Mac 11 which actually is raping face the Mac 10 really is shit and then again Combat Arms is a free to play MMO is a MMO FPS it's free to play so they have they, they give you some sh rather shitty start starting weapons and one of my buddies here, I believe, that really sucked, uh, told me not to type kill, or because or literally because they went into an AFK ray. That's what they that's what they are now. And then a few seconds later, they decide to become a dark corner McDougal. That's what we have right there. Sadly, we don't have a dark corner McDougal cam here on Combat Arms. We just have the location of where that person was running, and I think even that got turned off. And my reaction time, as you can see, is like a cat. It's uh, it's really fast. Not. And I would have used the sniper rifle here, the L96, but you know this is the TGIS challenge. This this is the this kind of shit challenge. So can only win with the Mac 10. And it's not like Call of Duty in really any sense. I mean. It's got the basics, but there's no kill streaks or anything, which, you know, what, even like a simple UAV or something would have really saved my ass here. Would have made this match go a lot damn faster. And I'm just hogging the airways now with the damn footage, which took forever here. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, and then we come up here, and we get another kill at a long range, but you can, as you can see, it really does have the worst accuracy, because it took me, like, a full clip just to, uh, just to, uh, just to kill him. And, but the reload is pretty damn fast, which, if you're, if you're rushing, is great, because you can... If someone is there that's gonna screw you, you can recover pretty damn pretty damn quickly. But with some of these assault rifles, like the Galil he's using, uh, you're probably never gonna get a shot to do that. And I think someone was using the uh, the little alien gun, just firing that off just now. And yeah, and we're getting up to the halfway point here with about a 15 kills. And because this is the Mac 10 gameplay, I can't really counter snipe him, which I would be able to do, or probably not. So when it comes to these long-range encounters with the people I'm going up against, uh, I don't really have anything that'll work. And I think I was trying to talk to him, but uh, the in-game recorder doesn't record uh, your own voice. And I, you know, um, yeah. I mean, if I had, if I wouldn't had would have known before then, I would have happily recorded this with Fraps. Yeah, sure. Round start. Yeah, and as you can see here, well, a whole lot of shit to do. Uh, yeah, so we're coming back in here, and I missed the last few seconds of footage, so yeah, we had, uh, fucking jumpers, uh, turning into Super Mario here, camping near those goddamn pipes, and then you'll see just how bad the spread is here, because I go, well, there he goes, he gets me with the, the thumper, and just fucking rapes me, and that was, uh, Johnny Rockma. And it's actually his, uh, it's actually his, uh, girlfriend that's playing, so... For a person that's never played Combat Arms, I give him kudos. And uh, you can see right here, we're getting up about 10 minutes now out of the 15. 
And, uh, yeah, we're still not close to the, um, still not close to the end here because it takes me fucking forever to, uh, get a kill. And as you can see, yeah, right, right here at long range took me, uh, full clip, almost two clips to, uh, kill this fucker. Round start. Which is just proof of why I put this gun on this kind of shit. Because this gun, in all respects, even with all its plus sides, this gun is sh and I got a nut shot on him right there. So, I think that's the first nut shot of the game. And, uh, because this is a spray and pray weapon, I don't know why that surprised me. Mm -hmm. They're all having an orgasm about it, apparently, because I got a nut shot. Because they're so damn rare. If I had been doing this in April, I would have been like April Fools, but, uh... No, I did not fucking record this in April, I don't believe. I believe I did this in, uh, September. And it is, uh, it's now the end of December. And I'm, uh, uploading this. Yes, I'm recording this on, uh, September 22nd. When I actually had school. And as you can see right here, I'm getting raped with a grenade launcher. And, uh, that turned into complete shit. And, um, for abilities, that's another thing I mentioned. I mentioned the perks of the abilities I was using at the beginning, but they change in combat arms, uh, as, a pair, as opposed to, um, Call of Duties. Like, Spectre, when you're walk, when you're just walking, it works like Ninja. It silences your footsteps, but it doesn't change anything when you're sprinting, which, you know, that works. That, that helped me out here. Um, and then there is Pitcher, which allows you to pitch, uh, vary the, uh, length of your throw for, uh, your grenades, which didn't really help me here because I was trying to win with the Mac 10 And then, uh, Resourceful, which it works like Scavenger, but it doesn't work all the time, and in fact is pretty damn useless, at least with this gun. Can occasionally grant you a health pack, occasionally grant you full ammo, occasionally grant you somewhat, some, some ammo. And, uh, yeah, so Combat Arms perks are, uh, really shitty compared to, uh, the Call of Duty series, so. If you guys are looking for a game with a good perk system, do not play this. If I wanted to, I would have just made a series of this game called This Game is Shit, but... I have, like, a hidden passion for it, so. And I don't have a capture card for the 360, so that's out of the question. Round start. And we're getting up here around uh, 13 minutes now. I know you you all can't wait to see the end of this because I've been bugging your asses for the past 15. And uh, yeah, right about here, tried to do another counter sniping with a machine pistol. <laughs> yeah, you guys think I'm fucking crazy. Well, you know what I am. And we get up here and he's raping me with the Galil again, jo Johnny. Johnny Rockma, so he's my nemesis throughout this whole damn thing. And he keeps camping in this corner over here, or camping at the stairs, and he keeps failing. So I finally uh, said, fuck that, and decided to, you know, get out of the way until he, uh, you know, yeah, we're getting up right, this is where Resourceful comes in with that uh, full health. Which, because yes, it is realistic. Unlike Call of Duty, your health don't recharge unless you get a health kit. Which is uh, why I think combat is slightly, uh, combat arms can be slightly more realistic. And I can't remember if that was my frag or not. I don't think it was. And I think we're getting up here on the last two to three kills in this game. And I think this is one of them. He had tw 28. So we're here with these last two kills. And, uh... So I decided to act like I'm fucking Spider-Man, as you can see. And jump across every goddamn building in town. And, uh... I think it was right around here. Yeah, we get killed 29. And I decided to reload, so I got... Not even a full clip now. I got 28 rounds in this bitch. And I think it was sometime around here where I decided to run around like a fucking Looney Tune and went out guns blazing 
with not even a full yeah right here with uh, AFK Ray and uh, yeah and that was the uh, end of the game right there and that was um this was Dead Tracks 83 this has been the episode one of uh, this gun is shit and if you guys want I would like to see in the comments for next time at the end of this video put your comments in for what gun you want to see me use for episode two this is Dead Tracks 83 this has been this gun is shit See y'all later. Fuck you.